Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be showing you how to work with monitoring rules in Zen Server 6. The Zen Server monitoring feature is based on a set of predefined rules that can be configured to suit your environment's requirements, or enabled and disabled as necessary. These monitoring rules define the nature of a triggered event, and the parameters for capturing event-related information in an application. In Zen Server 6, monitoring rules are listed in separate groups on the monitoring rules page. There are two types of rule groups, the Global Rules group and the Application Rules group. The Global Rules group is displayed at the top of the Groups list and contains a collection of predefined and enabled default monitoring rules called Global Rules. These rules are also automatically associated with any application managed by Zen Server, deployed or defined, and are grouped together at the top of the Rules list in each Application Rules group. Now let's see a few basic workflows for working with monitoring rules. Global rules can be easily edited by clicking the rule name in the rules list. In this case, I'm going to edit the critical trigger for the high memory usage rule. I'm going to ask Zen Server to email me for each triggered event and change the trigger threshold from 60% to 40%. Any changes made to the default settings will be saved and apply to the relevant child rules in the application rule groups. You can also add a new customized global rule that will be subsequently added to all the application rule groups. To do this, click the add icon on the right and customize your rule according to your personal preferences. After saving, your new global rule will be listed with a custom rule icon indicating its nature. Each application rule group will also include the new global rule. As opposed to the default global rules, added customized rules can be removed. In the application rule groups, global rules can be configured per application meaning that the default settings are overridden by the new settings but only for the specific application rule group in which the rule was edited. In this case I'm going to configure the new global rule that I added previously by enabling a new trigger. The overriding rule will be marked by the overriding icon in the rules list, and the same global rule in other rule groups are not affected. At any point, the overriding rule can be reverted back to its default settings. In a similar fashion, I can also create a new customized rule that will only apply to the application rule group it was created in. To do this, click the Add button on the right and configure your new rule. In this case, I'm going to ask Zen Server to trace code for my new rule. Please note that even if you have code tracing enabled, you'll need to activate this feature from the monitoring rule itself. The new customized rule will be marked with a custom rule icon in the rules list. This rule will not be listed in any of the other rule groups. Any of the rules can be enabled or disabled according to your personal needs and requirements. To do this, select the relevant rule and click the buttons in the action bar. Monitoring rules can also be exported for future use in other application packages. To do this, click the export button on the right for relevant rule group in the list. After you've finished making all your changes, it's a good idea to restart Zen Server to ensure all your changes are properly applied. 
Once created, your rules will begin to trigger events. After being alerted by Zen Server, view the event and if needed configure your rule to fine tune it. Thanks for watching this video. For more information on working with monitoring rules and additional features of Zen Server 6, please visit the online documentation page at www.zen.com.